Mr. Speaker, the government is restricting snow crab harvesters in the Gulf of St. Lawrence, claiming they're protecting the North Atlantic right whale, but they're actually causing more harm. Heavy ice delays, coupled with the government's decision to reduce the number of traps available, may cause fishermen to fish right through the migration season of the whale. Will the Minister of Fisheries commit to raising the trap limit so that fishermen in New Brunswick and PEI can get their traps out of the water before the whales arrive? Yeah. Well, Minister of Fisheries, Ocean and Coast Guard. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We have worked very closely with fish harvesters in Atlantic Canada as we develop the measures for uh, the fishing season, but also with respect to protecting the North Atlantic right whales. We have worked very hard to ensure that we've incorporated the feedback from fish harvesters and have met very extensively with them. Those, those measures, I think, were fairly well received by fish harvesters. We're working very actively through the Canadian Coast Guard to ensure we are opening up all of the harbors as quickly as we possibly can so the harvesters can get out to, uh, to fish crab. The Honourable Member for Durham. Mr. Speaker, they better work quickly before the Chinese ban seafood exports. China's been throwing our citizens in prison, committing others to death, and the response of this Prime Minister? Nothing. Nothing, Mr. Speaker. Yesterday, they even rejected calls from many voices, including ours, for a WTO trade challenge. We have no ambassador, and the crisis gets worse every week. Canadians are paying the price for this Prime Minister's weak leadership. When will they stop the excuses, appoint an ambassador to China, and turn around this crisis? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Mr. Speaker, the Minister of Foreign Affairs is in close contact with the most important families of Michael Kovrig and Michael Spavor. These cases are about arbitrary decisions by the Chinese government. We're working very hard in a concerted, organized way to address these deeply concerning arbitrary detentions. The member opposite should understand that by leveraging our international allies, we can make China realize the consequences of its actions. That is why we are constantly engaging with our allies and will continue to work with them and thank Australia, the EU, France, Germany, the UK, Netherlands, Lithuania, Latin.